Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Secret of Mana. Hot on the heels of last episode. Like, the mana sword is supposed to be super cool, but this all just seems to be like, use magic to completely fuck up enemies, the game. I'm getting, I'm thinking Randy really got the raw end of the deal. That looks odd. What's up? The Emperor. This is the Emperor, but he's dead. What the hell? I can't believe it. Who would do such a thing? I mean, besides us. Hey, now there's another room behind the stage. All right, let's go check it out. See if we can get some answers. They killed, who killed the emperor? Phantom, what's up? So you made it after all. Was it you who killed the emperor? I'm afraid so. We'd rule the world if we had unrestricted access to the mana fortress. We? Who, who else is lurking around? Oh, fuck! I should have known! <laughs> Long time no see, my young make-believe mana knight. Where is Dylok? Has he been harmed? Is he safe? Of course, he's just about to become my new body. What are you up to? Never you mind. Now, Thanatos, please, my master, to the fortress. Revenge is so sweet. Bye-bye forever, kid. as she adopts the form of the terrifying Naga. Hexas. What's the magic? What's the magic? Pigmas glare. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha. Told you that thing was important. Well, I don't remember what. Jesus, okay, don't go near her. New weapon. <laughs> um, we got the whip, and the bow, and the boomerang. No, no, no! Don't, do not go near her when you when you've got pig when you've been pigmized. Girls, it's game over. Jesus Christ! She dead. She's not dead. There we go. Now she's dead. Officially dead. Where? Oh, I have to attack like the head, not the body. Ow. That's weird, she seems to like try to avoid us, which is kind of weird behavior. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna roll through the, the magic menu and see which which character's magic does the most damage. Earth slide, is it earth slide? I think I remember it being earth slide. Ow. That, not, mm, nope, mm, mm, nope, nope, not earth slide. Uh, lightning bolt, that always does the trick. Eh, not great. All right, uh, how about fire? How's fire? Eh, fire's pretty good. Yeah, fire's our best bet. Ow, what the fuck? I wasn't even anywhere near it. You saw it, you saw it with your own eyes. Please stop doing that. If that cost mana, I'd be like, okay, all right, cool. It's a very powerful ability, but it doesn't. It's a special skill. As such, she can do it literally as much as she wants. And I still haven't figured out where the hell her sweet spot is. This is super frustrating, but like, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna spam magic until she dies. It's a really cool model. There's gotta be a reason she keeps casting Dispel Magic. Like, it's obviously supposed to do something, but like, I don't care. Oh no, now I'm tiny. Behold, tiny magic casting animations. Doesn't lower your magic skills. Bonk.
Damn it. Oh boy. I should mention it pigmizes you or unpigmizes you. Oh fuck, and you do not want to get hit with the pig pig Pygmalion's glare while you're pigmized. Oh boy, game over, man. What are you trying to dispel? What magic am I supposed to have? Tell me your secrets! I already analyzed you. What more could I ask for? Alright, looks like weapons will have to do. Nice! Alright, so it seems as if attacking from directly below is our best bet. Yeah, if you did not have that mallet, you'd have to cast Remedy every time. And I mean like, eh, Remedy only costs one mana, but like, dear sweet Christ. Also, it seems as if no one else is trying here. Also, back the hell up. Oh boy. Jesus. Okay, never mind. The the sweet spot is like around the middle of the torso. Or not. Or was I not at 100% stamina? Ugh. What do you want from me, game? Got him! I shot literally 14 fire- 14 times 3, I fired, uh, 42 fireballs up your ass and now you're dead! Jesus. Way to go! Got the whip's orb. What the? Thanatos, why? You did, that's why. Uh, that's not really a reason, but you know, reason enough for me. Are you dead? Cause you did. You should know better than to face us. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Zero mana points left. That's rough. So that's what this was all about. Thanatos just kept the Emperor alive long enough to, to, uh, Thanatos kept the Emperor alive long enough to consolidate enough power to revive the Mana Fortress. Oh, what? Gestar? No! You blew yourself up! You're dead! Ah, yes. Poor Gestar. So caught up in blind loyalty to his Emperor, he refused to join me. I took pity on his carcass and used the ancient magic to create a living fighting machine. How utterly evil. At this point, I think Thanatos is just doing this for the funsies. Like, holy shit. This is, this is ludicrously evil. The Mech Rider. Can't be too tough. 4300 health, that's a powerful wall. But that's okay. This is an enemy we can actually, like, attack with our weapons. Oh! I can buff himself! So he's repelling the magic onto us! That's actually really funny. That's super hilarious. Still, he's wigging out, he's going crazy. Dad, that's interesting. Uh, in interesting sort of bit of quasi strategy, just like, oh, do you keep the wall up so you can cast spells, or do you, or do you lay into him with your weapons and let him buff you instead? And I mean, it it's only sensible that we um, let him buff us because Puck doesn't have any mana points left anyway. So, oh fuck! If we wanted to attack him, that would just simply be impossible. I mean, if we wanted to cast spells on him, I mean, we can't do that. We don't, we don't have any mana. Points. What do you want from us? It appears that I'm relying purely on critical hits in order to do any damage, but hey, he seems to be pretty, uh, pretty susceptible to crits. Also, I don't remember him having a lot of mana points. I wouldn't be surprised if he's out already. That being said, we are just chipping away. Nothing more. Oh shit, Porum's unconscious. 
I think she huffed a mouthful of exhaust, so that's it's not, it's not good. No, no! Don't make my magic fade. I need that. That being said... What do you mean he wouldn't join you? He was dead! He blew himself up, dude! Yeah, I think he's I think he's trying to cast spells right now, but he just can't. There's no He's got he's got no gas left in the tank. He, literally and figuratively. Ah fuck. Really? Really? Knocked her unconscious again. Can we get some heals. Ow. We're gonna we're we're all gonna get hit. Oh I mean I got hit. That's acceptable. Jesus. I don't know if I cast Analyzer, would it get repelled? I think my Analyzer. No, his wall is level five, so the Analyzer is gonna get repelled too. Shit. Oh, I thought I thought it was like only 500 hit points. I was gonna be like, oh sweet. No, I have 500 hit points. God damn it. Also, there go the speed ups. They were nice while they lasted. Because he's got to be bone dry on MP. We are surviving off of critical hits. I'm getting them. I got this. I got this Masamoon. Masamune. Chopping them up. <laughs> just, just watching him be like, all right. Where's the magic? Give me the magic! And we're like, you don't have any magic anymore. He's like, what are you talking about? What part of give me the magic do you not understand? I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mech Rider. I'm sorry, Gashtar. We can't do anything for you. Also, it would appear that all of the Emperor's, like, rank and file foot soldiers, like, all of his bodyguards either betrayed him or are dead. So, what's, what's Thanatos got? Oh, right. Apparently, he's going to steal Dilux's body. Who is this asshole? Where did he come from? I I suspect if he if, if if the Emperor wanted to make a deal with the underworld, he'd have needed a liaison for that sort of thing. I think I think Thanatos is supposed to be like the underworld's emissary. And so because he is literally from the underworld, he requires like life force energy to survive. So despite his incredibly powerful magic, he's probably actually quite frail. There we go. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the uh, Mech Knights. Um um, what's, what's what I'm looking for? Self-destruct mechanism has been disabled somehow. Yeah! Got him! Give me that orb. Give me that orb! I want it. Oh, jeez. I think this is like blinding, shiny explosion number 26. No, more than that. 27. Because I skipped 25 and 26. Would go. Got the spears orb. Thanatos activated the Mana Fortress. This place is sinking! And you know what that means. It's too late. I don't know. This never quite made sense to me, Link. So the fortress... It, it would have made more sense for the, content, for the fortress to be the continent itself. Well, there's the fortress, all right. Ah, damn it. When the thunder strikes, that means it's moved on. Where's it gone to? No one can say. Ah, not far. Well, if we've got to face the fortress, then let's do it. What a colossal pile of almighty junk. Ah, my eyes! We can't survive this. We gotta get out of here. Okay, so apparently it, indu it has seizure-inducing defenses for anything that tries to land on it. That's no good. Uh, maybe we can reconnoiter with Gemma real quick? 
Gemma, what do we do, man? We tried our best. Are you alright? We barely got away ourselves. Yeah, we're all fine, but we failed to stop the revival of the fortress. I know. The Mana Beast will appear soon and crash into the fortress any minute. The resulting battle between the two will mean the annihilation of our world and everyone upon it. So, let's just take Flamey up and board the fortress ourselves first. Without the protection of mana, you wouldn't even get past the front door. The seeds are all dead. No, there's gotta be another way, right? I'm sorry, there isn't. Unless... There might just be one last way to get out of this. The seeds that used to power your sword are but a small part of the mana tree itself. Sage Jock once mentioned to me that the mana tree is located within the Pure Lands. It's supposed to be hidden under a dense cloud barrier, normally invisible to human eyes. But the fortress is consuming the last of the world's mana. That barrier has surely weakened. Find the tree, and you could revive the mana sword, and then destroy the fortress. We got no choice. We've got to find the Pure Land. Thanks, guys. It's a forbidden place. No one has ever been there in recorded history, so be careful. Chrissy! Is everyone okay? Take care of yourselves. Here's a little boost. Sweet! Free heals. Some of my men were inside when the palace descended. Oh fuck, they're all dead, dude. They got some bad news, they're probably gonna turn into zombies for the ghost train. Sorry, man. This is what happens. This is, this is what happens. Um, here's Nico. I think he sells some gear? Have everything you need? It'd be a shame if you didn't. Jesus Christ. Never mind. He sells the best gear in the game, but still, it's, it's you know, inaccessible until this point. I don't think there's any other place you can buy this stuff. And trust me, you want it. You want it? You need it? Oh, I need it, baby. Yeah, it's really easy to miss out on the, uh, on Nico over here, and trust me, you don't wanna. You need this stuff. 66 to 140. 240. Yeah, no, don't, don't miss it. Seriously, if you do not pick up this equipment, you will be very sad. The monsters that you will face in the Pure Land are fucking insane. They will destroy you. I should know. I've gone after them uh, without buying this stuff, and oh boy, who lordy, I have suffered the consequences. We should be able to buy some gauntlets with what we can make back from the gear that we sell. Unfortunately, that'll mean that there's not enough money left over uh, to upgrade our weapons. So that's going to be unfortunate. So we'll have second class weapons, but decent armor. Uh, you know, trades must be made. Barely enough. Give me a second. Gotta buy all the things. Oh god, that wasn't done yet. I'm sorry. And the candy. We can't leave the candy behind! Alright. That'll do for this episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana. Hey! It's Sergo! Hey, it's my friend from the sand ship. The ocean's suddenly grown calm, but I have a feeling this is just the calm before the storm. Oh, and Admiral Mary is doing just great. He even made me first mate on the ship. Oh, that's good. Alright, uh, I am gonna go actually upgrade my magic. Uh, I think that I can still do that. We will find out next time on Let's Play Secret of Mana. If you liked what you saw, like. If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. If you think that I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things like make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to do cool shit, and do the coolest thing I can think of. Um, uh, fight the fortress? Fight the power.